grab your shovel and some dirt as we dig into the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack and more specifically look at how it adds to and enhances gardening in The Sims 4. Let's go. One of the biggest, best and admittedly most obvious enhancements comes with the AOK -OK Bloomer Vertical Gardens and props to The Sims team for that punny object name. Once purchased, you can buy special seed packets from the planters that gives either flowers, fruit or herbs that can be grown in vertical planters. And while a wide array of plants can be grown in vertical planters, it's worth noting that not everything can. One of the biggest benefits of these planters is that they'll save you quite a bit of space, seeing as they'll essentially allow you to grow two plants on a single tile. Another huge benefit comes with the upgrades that you can perform on the planter. At level 4 handiness, you'll be able to install an automatic water system, essentially meaning that your vertical planter will water your plants for you. Then at level 6 handiness, you can install an automatic pest control system, which will make it so that your planter will periodically spray your plants to keep pests away. When combined, this will make your plants a lot easier to take care of. And it's not only plants that you can grow on a vertical garden, as you can also turn it into a meat wall and grow synthetic meat on it as well. I see you giving me many strange looks and I don't blame you, because let's be honest, it's weird. To unlock this strange wall, you'll need to have a sim become a design guru at level 5 of the civil designer career after entering the green technician branch. Once done, you'll be able to click on a vertical planter and choose to grow cruelty-free meat. You can water this meat as well as massage it, and the latter will increase your sim's fitness skill level. And once you're growing this meat, then in time the meat will grow up the wall. Once it's done, then you'll be able to harvest it for a faux meat cube, and this can be used when cooking, or alternatively you can sell it straight from the wall for a few simoleons. Now we're not quite done with planters, even if after the meat wall you want to be done with them. And we're also not finished with the green technician branch of the civil designer career for that matter, as it's through this career that you'll unlock hydroponic planters. Hydro what now, you ask? Hydroponic planters. And these are kind of like your regular garden box's flashier cousin. Similarly to regular garden planters, they'll take up four tiles and they can either have four bush-like plants grown in them or alternatively one tree. In addition, the main perk of these planters is that they will automatically water your plants for you. That's right, you'll never have to fumble over a watering can ever again. The only kind of annoying thing is that hydroponic planters are rather tricky to unlock. In order to do so, you'll again need to enter the green technician branch at level 4 of the civil design a career. Once you enter, you'll gain the ability to draft an eco invention concept blueprint using the electronic drafting tablet. Once drafted, you can use your mailbox to submit these for approval. Then 24 hours after it's submitted, you'll know how it went. And if successful, you'll get a work performance boost, a few hundred simoleons, and it even has the chance to unlock the ability to fabricate some awesome new objects. One of which is the hydroponic planter. Note that a higher logic skill will will increase the quality of the blueprints that you draft, which will in turn improve the chance of them being successful in unlocking additional objects to fabricate, or even for just getting that work performance and simoleon bonus. Eco Lifestyle also brings with it a new plant, being a soy plant. This is grown from soybeans, which are easily obtained from vertical garden fruit seed packets. Soy plants will produce both soybeans and soy wax. Both can be sold for a few simoleons, while soybeans can also be eaten straight, used as a vegetable in cooking, or used in juice fizzing once you reach level 2 to create tofiz which admittedly drinking doesn't seem to do all that much. Soy wax can also be used in candle making, though it's worth noting that you can buy soy wax straight from the candle maker itself. Also know that if you have the Seasons expansion pack as well as Eco Lifestyle, then bees will produce beeswax that you can collect and use in candle making too. Eco Lifestyle also adds the green fiend trait, and sims who have this trait will gain an inspired moodlet when performing green activities, such as garden 
gardening. And Green Fiend Sims will also be able to talk to plants before reaching level 4 of the gardening skill. Moving on, an eco lifestyle brings with it community spaces, which are dynamic areas that can take on different forms depending on how the community votes at a community board. One such form is a community garden, where lots of sims can gather to garden together, and potentially care for various bugs with insect farms. The great thing about this is that sims will grow all kinds of random things at a community garden, giving you access to a wide variety of plants with ease. Sadly though, townies won't plant the rarer plants very often, so you might have to plant them yourself. Overall though, it's a great way to bring to life the idea of community or group gardening, and it can be quite fun too. Eco Lifestyle also adds neighborhood action plans, which you can vote for between Friday morning and Monday night using influence points at your mailbox. Based on your vote, you can potentially enact various action plans, and these can have different effects on your world. One of these action plans is green gardening, and this will see gardening, as well as having and caring for insect farms and bee boxes, provide you with some influence points. On the flip side, if you don't have a garden, then your bills will be increased. And with that, we're at the end. That's a look at how the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack adds to or impacts on gardening in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.